And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Benfica facing Celta Vigo. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, he keeps going. Di Maria. Well, nothing productive, really. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Joao Mario plays with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Di Maria gives it a go. There it is, the opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, let's have another look at this because Di Maria shows great skill to go beyond the defender. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Oscar. It's with Iago Aspas. This could square the game. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Now defenders having to cover up. Oh, a nice looking pass. Joao Mario. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Oscar. It's with Iago Aspas. Firing it in. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And the short option preferred. I do. It's with Oscar. And he got to it fairly easily. So getting close to the half-time interval. And it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Clears it away. Could be a chance to break here. And possibilities inside the box. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And there it is, the half-time whistle.
Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective... Foot Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And that'll be a Celta ball. And a substitution in the offing. Fran Beltran. Nicely timed tackle. And continues his run. It needs an accurate cross. Opportunity here. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Nil here, and the ball is moving again. Fran Beltran, Joseph Aidu, Benfica regaining possession. Well, Benfica have had more of the possession, as you can see, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Yes, who knows, maybe another opportunity in the works for them. A good and fair challenge. Fran Beltran. Aris Seferovic. And the tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, you have to conclude, Stuart. An opportunity wasted. Yeah, and the other players are furious with him, and rightly so. That's such a poor free kick. Surely! Well, making amends is all part of the game. Well, no wonder he looks relieved. That could have proved costly. Rafa. Is that a Gerdes? That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Rafa. What a creative look about this. Now showing excellent vision. Still possibilities. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Seferovic. De La Torre. 
Good work from Benfica to win the ball back. And we've entered the final five minutes. Plenty of support here. Rafa. Takes it on. Really good diving save. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Another short corner here. Otamendi. On to Gedge. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, and the final analysis, a spectacular contribution from Rafa. Full of highs and substance. Stuart, I wonder what you made of his performance. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is, he kept on getting into the right areas, and he scored a very good goal as well.